My intention for the evening was to start, or the day, pardon me, was to start here. Drop that down behind the table, but I got, I don't know if distracted is the right word. I was more motivated to do something else. So instead, I put in a bunch of insulation. I threw up, uh, first the ceiling has to go in and then the wall can support it. So obviously you still have to do that, still have to do that, and then frame in the um, piece that protects the water meter. But um, thank you, YouTube. I'm able to put up uh, sheets of drywall as long as they terminate in a wall. Um, I'm not sure alone how to put up a sheet of drywall without using the... Um, hoist and I was kind of hoping not to to bring it down here just because there's so much crap honestly uh, I'm not sure how much value I'm going to get from the thing because it would be so much effort putting anything you know out of the way so I could get the hoist in so anyway um, I'll spend some time researching that I guess tonight trying to figure out how to hoist drywall alone without the hoist um, and if I just can't figure it out, then I guess I go back to using the uh, the hoist. But um, yeah, I'm hoping not. Maybe I can come up with something with two by fours. I don't know. Anyway, uh, I think though the next priority will be oh <clears throat> the stairs. So I'll make them the same way that I made the stairs from the first floor to the second. You can see, you know, I've mentioned already how completely not level that. Um, uh, landing is it was made worse when somebody removed the very last support piece and they put something else in place which was you know helpful but it was easily an inch too short so again the, the problem got a little bit worse so I picked up one of those jack studs or whatever those things are called there I can I can adjust its height and essentially push the landing up and, Brand new, obviously, so it's covered in packing grease. Um, so once, uh, my, my understanding is typically when you do this, you, you do it over a period of several days. So you crank it up an eighth or a quarter of an inch or a centimeter or whatever uh, you're used to. Then you have to let the framing uh, kind of accommodate the shift. And then the next day you start, you can crank it another centimeter, half centimeter, whatever. But, you know, you have to do this very slowly over a period of a couple of days. So... I'm going to start that. Um, and when I say that I'm going to redo these stairs the way that I did upstairs, that's not quite true. I think what I'm going to end up doing is doing these stairs the way I should have done these other stairs. So what the stairs that I took out for instance, so uh, very quickly, I'll show you, you can see these, um, I'm not even sure what they're called, but I put them in to support the actual tread and these, shouldn't be necessary. Uh, so what I'll be doing is notching out the string or the right, whatever the hell that thing is called. I'll be notching it out and sliding the, the boards in. Um, so I'm going to practice my plan down here so that I know it works before I move on to a set of stairs that's more or less visible to everybody who enters the building. Whereas down here, they're somewhat hidden. But I need to get a move on because this area has to be closed. As in, I have to build another wall uh, so that people can't fall off the stairs onto the onto the floor. They can still fall down the stairs. Not much we can do about that, but I need to cover this in for the inspection. So I'll get started on that. Um, in the grand scheme of things, yeah, I guess relatively speaking, it doesn't matter. Uh, like neither one is any more or less important than the other. They both have to be done for inspection. The difference is that you can't drywall a wall that doesn't exist, but you can definitely build a wall where there's no drywall. So probably, um, I haven't decided which is more important, which I'll tackle first. I guess it doesn't really matter.